and youtube is back again hope everyone's well and safe and just want to say one of my subscribers was taken into hospital and hope he's all right james i don't can't get his last name but if you're watching i know you always watch my videos hope you're well and get well soon all right guys today's video is i made one card and a bit about it's just a little chat a bit about looking forward to summer and yes finally when this is all over i'll be going up to liverpool so i thought i'll talk a bit about that just move me coaster and one color made i've got a fever so um i've got my eyes and my throat's a bit because they said it's going to be worse this this year so so it's good i'm stopping in so I just have to take the dog out because she goes out four times a day because I haven't got a garden so but right first I made a little card remember I said to you the sims one so I just made one because I've been packing as well so if, I can, if you can see that the sims I like playing the sims I don't know the lights get into it if you can see it right and nothing in there yet so I can't think yeah so I like the sims sims four <clears throat> as you can see my voice is a bit i've been taking these they're 70p in tesco and i've been taking these and they don't seem to seem to help a bit so there's some stuff i got i went into the supermarket yesterday and i got some stuff and i'll show you what they are and if you got kids and you want to get them some a treat or some of these to come in these are nice they're, co they're coconut and they're um what you call digest yeah digestive and i've had a few as you can see and yeah i've got a friend here and as you can see i can turn that i know some people like seeing her see if i can get her facing that's it i got her in and they like that and the taste they're quite they're small you could put it in your mouth but dog will love that bit you can give dog biscuit you can't see coconut but it tastes coconut so if you i don't know you would have to read it if you've got any um, allergies to anything so it's got coconut chocolate chip chocolate chip and coconut so it's nice so i'll try i think it was um one pound 25. Well, tesco have them i don't know if morrison's have them and I've got myself some of these, 250. I haven't opened it yet because if I open it, I'll. So I thought we'd do stuff. These are coming up and I'm going to watch some Netflix. I'll be doing a review of Netflix at the end of this month, beginning of May. I've watched the film. It was good. Johnny Depp was in it and another one. I'm trying to get some um, other things to watch because i tend to watch a lot of horror and not everybody's in horror so i'm gonna try and get some other stuff to watch comedy or something like that i'm not into comedy but i think there's some good ones right guys hope everybody's all right like i said and keep insane people have to stop in and they said you have to stop in another couple of weeks so it might last you for a couple of months and right news of liverpool well, what I was going to do, I was going to go the end of this month, which is April, and have a look at some flats. But I've had a look online, and the lady, because I'm going to rent mine, the lady said they can't do anything yet until this is all over. Then I can go up and have a look. So I thought, well, I'll start packing stuff, so pack some stuff. So if you see some stuff missing, I haven't sold them. They're just being packed away. Because I've got loads of stuff, so I'm just packing them away. So when the time comes, I can just get the van and off I go. I saw some flats because I'm going to go for one bedroom because this is a two bedroom and it cost me, was it five, nearly 500 a month, yeah, about four, 400, no, five, 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 something like that. And with a bedroom tax as well, so it's only me, so I just need one bedroom. And one I saw was nice, it had like a little balcony, so if I could get a balcony, that would be great. So that's mine so hopefully it'd be nice if i can move by christmas or the end of the year 
well, not end of the year, Christmas, say <laughs> Christmas or getting excited, Christmas or the beginning of the year. So we'll see what happens with everything. So I'll see if I can It'll be nice in a new flat in Christmas time. So guys, what I was thinking if with all this going around, I have something to look forward to. Like if you never drink, you could buy, well no, that's not as good as if you never drink. <laughs> Don't want to encourage people drinking. If you drink and there's a drink that you never tried, try it because life is too short. Just if you see a drink and think, oh, I like that, it's like champagne or... I was going to get butler, butler Jack Daniels, but that was a bit expensive. So I thought I'll wait till the sale if they go on half price. But stuff like that, if you got, if you play games and there's a game you want to get, treat yourself when this is all over. Have a celebration because life is too short. So you could say, like, if you like games, you could go out and get a game. If you like um, a dress, go and get a dress. It's like me, I'm going to treat myself to um, the Apple iPod, something to look forward to, to get that. Well, that's coming, my partner's buying that, so. But my to look forward to is Liverpool, because I've been moving there, so I've got that. And it give your mind something to think about instead of sitting there, and, because the news has got everything. So that's on my channel, I'm not going to talk, because I think nobody wants to listen about it. It's everywhere, isn't it? It's on Facebook, on the telly, and you go in the road. So... So I'm glad I've got that to look forward to because I've got to moving up to Liverpool. That's something to look forward to. And I pack in and I know when this is all over, I can start going up to Liverpool looking for flats. And once I find one I like, I'll be gone. And I know people who's got vans and that's no problem to move it. Because what I might do is move the heavy stuff and the stuff like I've got the snow globes and stuff like that. I might leave it. My partner's got a garage, leave it there. And then when I come to visit, I can just go and um, take it back with me on the train. Or if you get an automatic car, I can drive because I can't drive anything but automatic. And my friends will say, "Why well, you want to go up there?" So it just is fresh start, and just I, would, I just want to go and start fresh because I've been in Birmingham and it's bad memories, like I said in my previous video. So everybody, well, I've only got two friends. I've got Carol and Linda. I've got no family. So it's not like I've got loads of family, brothers and sisters. There's nothing to keep me in Birmingham. So just, and then I'll be a scout, so hopefully. I can talk like a Liverpool. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> People said I can't understand my accent because it's a bit of Jamaican and a bit of Egyptian. I don't know how that works, but when I hear myself on the video, I think I sound all right, so yeah. But yep, so just a little video to let you know what's going on, so. Yeah, so that's I'll keep you once I um go up Liverpool I'll do a little blog. And then once I find the flat I'll show you. And then once I move, I'm not gonna do all of it, but I'll do all once the van come and everything I'll show you and then when I get up there I'll show you and then once I get the flat and then start doing it. So yeah. So that's so much for me to look forward to. It. And because I've got that to look forward to, I feel in a bit lift. You know, you when you um got so much to look forward to, you feel a bit lifted, you think, Oh yeah, I've got that so you think well I got that and then you go I go in the craft room and I pack I think yeah soon I'll be going to Liverpool and when I take the dog out and walk and I look around I think yeah I won't be here next year hopefully fingers crossed I won't be here so that's good so yeah folks so try and have something to look forward to and the kids if you got kids get them to try and look forward to something like Christmas coming up you could say to the kids oh you want that um if they want an Xbox or summer save up get them to um a little piggy bank save up and they could save up and then they've got something to look forward to because locking up in the flat if you live in a flat and you got no garden the kids you can't go out with the kids and then walk and then have to go back in at least you have something to look forward to and i think when you have something to look forward to it gives you it gives you a lift uh, that's what happened with me because when i have something to look forward to i always have a lift and when you kids would be the same because when i was young and i had a Something to look forward to, I always feel good. And if you got your kids and you say, when this is over, you can go a day out at the zoo or we can go get your toy that you was after, something like that. And they'll have something to, and even you, if there's something you want, like a dress or a ornament, a box of chocolates that cost 15 quid, treat yourself. Say to yourself, yeah, I remember I wanted that box of chocolate 
or lush if there's a bath bomb there you want go and get it i know it sounds silly but if you have someone to look forward to i think it's be better because i think there's going to be a lot of people if you've got mental issues and stuff like that like me i used to sell farm and if you haven't got nothing to look forward to you just start thinking think, and then you can get a bit worked up and then it's not nice so try that folks just because i'm happy because i've got that to look forward to moving up there and i start packing and that and just doing that i haven't got the place yet but i know i'm gonna go there because my partner said he's gonna put the deposit on the flat for me and sort it out for me so that way i'm lucky and just having that looking forward to that and packing the stuff i know it's might sound silly but just packing the stuff in a box looking for boxes to pack stuff it's given me a lift and something to look forward to and something to um carry on so yeah and that's then sorting out things and think well i can't buy nothing now until i get to my new flat and it's just it's like when i first had my first flat down because where i'm in lee bank and then it was benmore and my first flat and it was just exciting so much to so i won't be doing no comic con till i go up to liverpool because it's no good doing it i've got the costumes i can so that'd be another blog in liverpool um yeah so folks hope you keeping strong and doing stuff like me i'm doing a bit of crafting now packing and just waiting for my laptop and then i'll be playing the things <laughs> I'm taking the dog, I'm lucky I've got the dog, so I have to take her out four times a day. But I give her a long walk in the morning, and then just for her to go for a wee or anything, I'll just take her, because there's a park there, and I'll just take her. I don't stay there long, and then come back. But I haven't got a garden or a balcony, because if I had a balcony, I could just let her out, and do what she and clean it up, or give her a long walk. Well, I don't think I would, if I had a balcony, I'd just let her sit there to get some fresh air, because I opened this door to get them fresh air. No, I don't think I would do because it no. Then you get into that habit, you leave the dog on the balcony. So yeah. So that's it. I mean my I can't think what this is. Oh yeah, biscuit tea. What I do, I get the packet of biscuit tea and the Yorkshire tea and I mix it up. So when I make a cup of tea, it's either biscuit tea ordinary and it's a nice surprise. But some like you have a cup of tea, you think, oh biscuit. Oh that ordinary. Right, folks, so I'm off. Uh, <clears throat> today's Good Friday, so fish in it. Yeah, me, it doesn't. You're supposed to eat fish today, that's right. I think I might have done it wrong. I had it yesterday. I should have had it today. <laughs> I'll get it back. Yeah, I should have had fish today. I'll so. oh, see, I might have some, I don't know. Or some crisps or something. Let's see. Fish crisps, that would be, yeah, that's all right. Um, there's no fish crisps, is there? Prawn cocktails. Yeah, so folks, if you pop down to, um, we went to Tesco yesterday and we had to queue. Because usually I walk to Morrison's, but they didn't have microwave and their milk, so I'll have to go. But yeah, so these are 125 and they're nice. So if you eat biscuits with your cup of tea or if you got kids, you could get them. The kids, if they like coconut, they might not like it. And these would be good. They're only 250 If you got kids, you could get them. Um, you could get two packets for the kids. And they're doing in um oh yeah, in the clock. Yeah, let's put the battery in. And let that go for a bit. <laughs> Give me time to drink my tea. Yeah, and um they're doing Tesco is doing two eggs for seven pounds, so check it, because we got some but um you have to check, make sure the girl knows because some of them think it's only um, six pounds for one egg, but it's two for seven, so you can get two eggs for seven pounds if you got kids. They got all different eggs as well, and they got one with Peter Rabbit. I think that was five pounds. It's got Peter Rabbit inside the box with her. Um, yeah, and then these were seventy p because my throat and I took them. So I don't know if you got a sore throat, cold or anything. Seventy p. But I got hay fever. And I haven't been up to much to get me um estimine things for me a fever. And the card, and that's all I did. And start packing, so yeah. So like I said folks, I'll give you a big hug. <laughs> Can't hug anybody, so we just do a YouTube hug and everybody keeps safe and watch telly and do the best you can and like I said, try and 
have a think about that try and think about that and see and look forward to something like something you see in the shop before it when it was shot before it was shot and you saw something you thought nah just try that because it gives you something to look forward to on the kids you could tell the kids to um have a little piggy bank and they could put even if they put some you give them some to look forward to saving some so they could say oh i'm saving up for that even a little toy or some build a bay or something like that and like um the adults if some you see like a game for the lads and the girls if they play games a game that you saw and you thought oh, that was a bit much just save up and think oh i love that game or i love that that dress or that jacket or that shoes because once you have something to look forward to it's better and yes so and these will be taken with me everybody asks me you know what they ask me are you going to take your pets when you move i say yes i am taking my pets when i move i'm not going to leave them here the dog and the cat are coming so the dog and the plushies yes the plushies are coming as well the cat and the dog are coming now the dog rasmus she was born in Wales, she went to Leeds, she's coming to Birmingham, while well, she's in Birmingham, and she's coming to Liverpool, so she's been round, and it's okay, yes, so, hi right, folks, I've been nattering and talking, so I thought I'd just have a chat, right, that's it, nothing else to talk about, I think that's it, our next one, hopefully I'll show you my Apple iPod, hopefully, or my laptop. And I've got some stuff I'm going to order from Killstar because I was waiting for the price to go down. Because that's what I do. I wait for the price to go down and then order stuff. So I've got... Well, I haven't ordered it yet. I've got some few stuff. So I'm not going to... After these stuff, I'm going to collect from Dudley and that table. I won't be buying nothing. Unless it's Halloween. You can leave them in a the box. And I won't be buying nothing now until I move. So I've got loads of stuff to pack. I've got that. I've got a big clock there. With ornaments, I've got some ornaments. The ornaments, I've got a co little coffin shelf with a few ornaments, and uh, the tellies I've took all the um, ornaments off. I've got that one there, ornaments, that ornaments. I've got these, I've got that. Then that's the kitchen. I've got ornaments there. Then I've got my bedroom, and the craft room's got loads of stuff. See, when you got loads of room, you put stuff everywhere. Yes. So, folks, see you and take care. Look after yourself. Keep safe and. Just be careful and think what I said about having something to look forward to. And that's it. And I'm off now to have, um, I don't know, I'll see what I'll have. Maybe some more chocolates. Right, folks, cheers. <laughs>